Welcome to our first online review, calculating the area of rectangles. Now the definition of area is the amount of surface a figure covers and it is measured in square units. So here we have a rectangle and the idea that we need to understand and uh, to figure out is just how much space this rectangle takes up. And to figure that out, we can use these square, uh, yellow squares, to see how many yellow squares we can put on, fit into this rectangle. So here we have one, two, three, four, and so on. And uh, remember, as you put in your squares to fill up a rectangle, to fill up the space, uh, the squares have to all be side by side, and they can't be overlapping. So. Now you see here we've put in, uh, you can count them up on your own, uh, there are 15 squares there. So the area of that rectangle under the squares is 15 squares. That's how much space that rectangle took up. Now I want you to notice something. Um, you'll notice the, these yellow squares form an array. There are five across and uh, three stacked on top of each other and you remember to figure out how many squares in an array all you had to do was multiply the length across by the length up and down so in other words here in this example we'll multiply five times three so the number of squares in that array is fifteen squares five times three and that is also the area of the rectangle. Now, you don't want to measure the area of rectangles using the squares every time. We need a faster method. And so what we can do is just imagine that we put an array onto this rectangle here. It would be 10, centimeter, 10 square centimeters um, across the top and two up and down. And to find the, array, the area of this rectangle, it's just going to be the length times the width. So in this rectangle, the length is 10 and the width is 2. So we'll multiply 10 times 2. 10 times 2 is 20. And so here we have the area for this rectangle is 20 squared centimeters. It's important to make sure that you write the unit in there as squared centimeters, and that tells the reader that what you're dealing with is the area. Well, good luck with your questions and have a great day. We'll see you in class tomorrow. Thanks for coming by. Bye.